as an avid PI fan in this game, I've been doing kind of an experiment for the past uh, few days. And because of the changes that were made to PI in the Viridian expansion, I've been kind of just, I set up essentially what is going to be robotics manufacturing on a single character in high sec. And the experiment is essentially to judge whether or not it's worth it now ish to be doing PI in high sec. Now, as someone who's done massive amounts of scaled PI in null sec and I'm used to the the actual production that you can expect in those regions, coming and doing um, PI in <laughs> high sec is very, very rough. Uh, the, the first thing that you have to worry about is the quantity or the density of materials on the planets is extremely low. And we're talking about where as a null, a single resource on a planet could be in like the 40% to like 70% range in high sec you're on the extreme low end of that spectrum so the availability and the density can be as low as 4% or 8% it's it's pretty bad now the purpose of my experiment is essentially just to set up the the p1 production and since they made changes to pi and that is found in the actual viridian uh, patch notes and how that goes is they stated we are making it much easier to haul pi commodities as well as it requires fewer active inputs to manage since the space for all storage facilities and spaceports is effectively doubled and they go on to point out that they have the volume of all PI commodity is reduced by 50%. So upon reading that, I thought to myself, well, if, if we can actually kind of stockpile more units than in this, in the launch bay and then things like that, then essentially you could kind of make things more passive for the most part. Now in null sec for normal, actual PI and, you know, doing PI proper in like null and wormhole space, this is an amazing thing as well because it means that you can really kind of just let this stuff go and only come out when it fills up as normal, but you're going to go out and be picking up a lot more in terms of that. But I wanted to kind of talk about PI and high sec since not a lot of people who may be interested in PI have access to null. And I'm going to kind of go through what I've produced over the past uh, several days. If you've watched any of my other PI videos, then you'll recognize how I had this all set up. And I wanted to keep it kind of the same to have like a baseline. Now, seven factories is way overkill for high sec because the amount of yield that we get from the extractor is so terribly low compared to other regions. But the idea is to just worry really I haven't even really set up my process planet for this to take it to P2 or P3 the reason being is because the orbital customs office taxes in high sec are really really high because nor they not only do you have to worry about the taxes for the corporation that owns the Paco but also Concord puts puts a percentage on top of that as well now it's a lot more expensive to and the tax rate is based in the extraction or the export cost is based on the value of the commodity that you're bringing out of the planet. So it's actually better to farm P1 in high sec and then just basically sell the P1. When you start going to like P2, P3, if you have a high tax rate Paco that is our orbital station, that's going to start really cutting into your profit margins. Now, to give you a kind of an idea of how my planet's been doing over the past few days, my first planet has done about 20 million in value. The second one's done about 11 million. And then the other one has done 7.7. .7, and then this one's done 7.3. Now, this is no input from me whatsoever, with the exception of restarting the extractor every 24 hours, which is simple enough, and it doesn't actually cost anything. The only thing that I put in for ISK on this, to this point, was the initial setup cost. And then whenever I go to actually pull this stuff out, I will pay the 15% tax rate that is on this uh, Paku right now. And you can see what the tax rate is for that planet by accessing the orbital station and looking right there. 
But as you can see here, we've got a ways to go. I mean, I got 18,000 um, structures in here right now, and we're not even halfway. So we could realistically get um, 40, let's see, 40, maybe about 60 million in value in that launch pad before we even have to extract anything. And we definitely want to just kind of wait and do like as few transactions as possible. Now, I think that if you are interested in doing PI and you only have access to high sec, I would not do anything at scale. I wouldn't try to do any complex um, PI chains or anything like that. And I'll further uh, iterate that. I think that farming just P1 and selling it in Jita is probably better because the further you go down the chain, the more it's going to cost you in extraction. But it is essentially really good passive income because once this is all set up, it's just generating ISK when I'm not even kind of focusing on it or even when I'm not even online. So I think that for the purpose of this video, this is really to kind of address people's um, curiosity about whether or not high sec PI is worth it. If you're trying to do anything complex, no. If all you're trying to do is have a little bit of passive income from it, for in, in addition to maybe like mining or ratting in high sec, setting it up, it potentially can just, you know, get you a, a few uh, million per day or so if done right. If you're curious about setting up PI, you can check out my other planetary industry videos. And I have one specifically set for setting up uh, robotics, but I really wanted to kind of just address this change in the Viridian expansion about the uh, density and the weight of all this stuff. And it does actually make it a lot easier too, because now ethanols will hold essentially more value. Um, and I usually use like a crane, like a blockade runner to go pick up all my PI so I can effectively um, fit more uh, commodities in that. And then also this, you know, 35,000 cubic meters on the customs office side will hold more because you could actually fill up this launch pad export over to here and you wouldn't even have to technically go out to the Paco until this is full now being in high sec you don't really have a control on who really owns the the uh, orbital station so I probably wouldn't recommend leaving anything on this side if you're in null sec and your corporation or your alliance owns or knows the owners of those Pacos then it's a, a safe place to kind of stockpile everything but as you can see here, we'll kind of just go through these planets um, kind of one by one. I have them all set up the same way. And your the value or the yield for each of the planets and each of the different commodities is going to vary very drastically. Uh, and it's just it's really low in comparison to pretty much <laughs> anything else. Nullsec in wormhole space is the place to do PI. But if you're really just after a little more extra passive income, high set can be worth it but anyway thank you for watching hit the like button hit the subscribe button and if there's interest then i will um try to do more with this uh experiment there's no reason for me to tear it down it's costing me literally nothing per day it only costs when i export so as long as uh production is really good and and things like that we can if you know it's of interest i can explore more uh high sec pi but I will just always be telling you to try to do it in wormhole space or null space if you want to do anything serious. But uh, I digress. But thank you for watching. And I like the PI change in Viridian. I think it's really cool. And I will see you guys in the next one.